In this example, we're going to get a little practice working with some of the set operations that we've been uh, working with. The sets that we're going to work with are the following. We're going to work with the set A, where A is the set of all prime numbers, so it consists of all x such that x is prime. We're going to work with the set B that consists of the elements 1, 2, 10, 17, and 25. And we're going to work with the set C that consists of the elements 2, 11, 20, and 42. And in this example, we're just going to do a few kind of simple set operations to get practice with these operations. So we're going to compute the following. So in the first part, we're going to compute A intersect B. So what is A intersect B? Intersection is an operation that returns all the common elements between the sets. So when we take A intersect B, we are going to find all of the elements that are common to the set A and to set B. Another way of saying that this is the set that we write down here can only contain things that are in both A and B. So for this specific example that we're working, the easiest way to think about this is to look at B and determine if each element of B is also in A. Because A consists of an infinite number of things, there's an infinite number of primes, but B consists of this short list, so if we just kind of go down the short list for B and ask ourselves the question, is this element of B also an element of A? If the answer to that question is yes, then this element will also be an element of the set A intersect B. So I'm going to go ahead and write down my curly brackets, and then I'll start doing that. We ask ourselves, is 1 a prime number? Well, no, 1 is not defined as a prime number. Is 2 a prime number? Yes. So since 2 is in B and 2 is also prime, it's also in A. So 2 is a common element between A and B, so it will be in the intersection. What about 10? 10 is not prime, so it won't be in this set. 17 is prime, so 17 is in B, obviously, and it's also in A. And what about 25? 25 is not prime, so 25 is not in A, so it is not in this set. So the set A intersect B is simply the set that consists of 2 and 17 for this specific example. So that was pretty easy. Let's do another one. Let's compute B union C. So when we union two sets, we construct a new set that consists of all the elements that are in either of the sets. So what we're going to write down here is going to consist of all the elements that are either in B or in C. So we're just going to write these down. 1 is an element of B, 2 is an element of B and C, 10, 11, 17, 20, 25, and 42. This is just a list of all the elements that are either in B or in C, and we write them all down. You'll notice that 2 appears in both B and C. When we write down the set, we only write that down one time. So we're only writing down the elements that are common to either one. If it appears in both of them, though, we still just write down that element one time. So we've only written down two one time. That is the definition of the union. Okay, so that was pretty easy. Let's do a little more complicated one. Let's do B union C differenced with A. So this is the kind of set difference operator that we use. When we look at this, this means that we're going to write down a set that consists of all the elements that are in B union C, but not in A. Okay. So another way of saying that is we're going to look at this set that we just constructed, and we're going to write that set down, but we're going to take away all of the elements of A, which consists of all of the prime numbers. So when we write down this set, we need to take away the element 2, and we need to take away the element 11, because 11 is prime. We need to take away 17, because 17 is prime. Okay. So if we do that, if we write down B union C, but take away all the prime elements, we're going to end up with 1, 10, because like I said, we're going to remove 2, 2 is prime, 2 is in A, so we're not going to include it when we write it down here, 20, 25, and 42. So all the prime elements have been taken away, because we are writing down the set that consists of B union C and not in the set A. So that is that set. And that is the end of our example.